Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vorey and one of the automation specialists for Ramco. In previous Q4X videos, we have given you an overview of the sensor, shown you how easy it is to set up, and demonstrated some of the functionality available. In this video, we're going to show you another feature that will allow you to install and program the Q4X in literally seconds. Let's take a look. As you know, you can program the Q4X with a simple touch of a button. There are a lot of other advanced features available that I can walk you through. For this application, we're going to set this sensor to perform foreground suppression at 75 millimeters with a two second on delay and one second off delay. To demonstrate how to program this from scratch, let's set the sensor back to factor default. To do that, press and hold mode for two or more seconds. Press the minus button once. Reset will appear. Press select to enter the reset menu. Yes will appear. Press select. The sensor is now set to factor default settings. Now to set the foreground suppression to 75 millimeters. I'm going to plug it from my battery box. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry folks, I need to take this. Uh, Lindsay, can you finish setting this up? I have a customer emergency. Okay, well, I wasn't prepared for a demo video today, so I guess we'll just figure this out together. Okay, so to get this set to 75 millimeters, I'll go ahead and plug this in here. Okay, we've got green lights and things are coming on, so that's good. Okay, so let's get this set to the 75 millimeter mark. Wait a minute. Try that again. The light just came on with an on delay. I think this is set. This is awesome. I'm so good. Okay, shh, don't tell Brad that I didn't actually program anything. Just, shh, just don't tell him. Hey, Linz. Oh, hey, Brad. How's it going? Really, really good. I am really quick and fast at programming the sensor. So you plugged it in and it just started working, didn't it? No. How did you know that? Lindsay, this thing has IO Link functionality. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot that the Q4X can come with IO Link. Okay, tell them about that. Okay, so similar to Ethernet and Modbus used on VFDs or servos, IO Link is a sensor network that is available on some sensors. All the sensor parameters are saved on IO Link Master, like this one from Turk. As long as the sensor has IO Link version 1.1 or greater, you're ready. Awesome. And so a really cool thing about IOLINK, let's say this sensor were to get damaged on the line. Anybody can go to the parts crib, grab a brand new sensor, take it out of the box, plug it back in, and all the parameters are going to be set in the sensor because of that block. Exactly. You can even do other cool things like change the sensor settings on the fly right from your PLC or HMI. So for those hard to reach sensors or machines where you can't easily make changes or adjustments, you can access almost all parameters using IOLINK. Awesome. So how easy are these things to set up on the network connection? What fun would it be if I were to tell you and not show you a demo video? So you're saying stay tuned? Stay tuned. For additional videos like this one and for future videos on IO Link, click the subscribe button. It's about here-ish. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.